Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, Savage Lee, and today, guys, we are talking about how to improve your aim, improve your gun skill in Call of Duty. So, at the end of the day, there's a lot that goes into gun skill and recoil control. It's not as simple as it sounds. It's not as simple as just, you know, hold down your stick and you're going to shoot straight. There's a lot that goes into shooting straight like a pro in Call of Duty, and that's what we're talking about today. So, I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible to make sure that we can uh, save you guys time because there's a lot of videos to watch out there. Um, first of all, uh, the gaming channel is popping, so I highly recommend go checking out the gaming channel. I'll be posting a lot in the upcoming few days, few weeks, um, some a lot of game battles as well. So go check that out, hit the notification bell on that channel and on this channel to not miss an upload. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Let's go. So of course, the first aspect of gun skill is sensitivity, which I'm sure you guys already know about. If you don't or don't know what sensitivity to use, then I just posted a video about that. Go check that out. Uh, I highly recommend it for Cold War. There's a lot that goes on there. But at the end of the day, that's the first thing. So once you're comfortable with your sensitivity, then you can start working on how to actually shoot straight and again like i said there's a handful of different aspects that come into this which the first and most important aspect of shooting is centering basically that means putting your screen centering your screen in a spot where the enemy is going to be and when you realize how much it has to do with how well you aim it's like that's weird because like anticipation is a big part in how you shoot straight and what you're watching is me just shooting in a bot lobby and just kind of practicing these things and you see how i'm going around these corners i'm coming around really quick aiming where I believe guys are going to be. And that's step one to shooting straight. Step two, of course, is getting to know your guns, your recoil patterns. Every gun has a very unique and specific recoil pattern that you can learn and get used to. So maybe just shoot at a wall or shoot somewhere and get a feel for it. So just take a second, kind of shoot it and watch it recoil, kind of ingrain that into your brain. So then you can tell your thumb how to counter that recoil pattern on your analog sticks. That's pretty obvious, but uh, it, that definitely is a factor in how you aim so, so the fourth thing is kind of your movement while you're shooting the gun i know sometimes in my past i've lost sight of how i'm moving when i'm shooting like how i strafe am i aiming as much with my left stick as my right stick how is that playing out so you have to be very aware of how you're moving in game and utilize strafing utilize movement utilize sliding to your advantage to be as accurate and kill as fast as possible and so all of these things combined it's very important of course you know intentionally practice these things Centering is something that takes a lot of time to get used to because a lot of people maybe just kind of like lacklusterly kind of just point to where they think my people my people might be their their screens just kind of pointed near a window or near a corner. You need to be very, very precise with how you're pre aiming those things and doing that. And that is all very important to, to shooting straight and winning more gunfights. So again, you can see in this bot lobby how I'm very much trying to center right onto corners, right onto windows, right onto head glitches to where opposing players might be. Of course, this is a bot lobby, so they're not going to be playing the head glitches as much as some of the guys in these Black Ops Cold War lobbies. But, but and that's just crucial to having good gun skill and shooting straight. So when it comes to like directly how to practice, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. You can do like a base bot lobby like normal, throw in those bots, shoot them up, practice your centering, practice your gun control, practice your recoil control, and go from there. Of course, you can also play inside pubs and use a different variety of guns to improve your aim specifically. Sometimes, I think in a bot lobby, you can turn off aim assist and play without aim assist to give you a really good feel how well you center and how well you control recoil on your own. I don't recommend doing that all the time, but once in a while, it's kind of like interesting to switch it up and make practice a little bit more interesting. Similarly, I think you should also shoot bots without sound sometimes and then sometimes with sound to kind of give you a feel for how much sound matters for your gun skill, for your snappiness, and how much that affects where you're aiming and how you're aiming. And pay attention to that in in, in your practice as well. And then sometimes use different guns. Now, don't just use the MP5 or use you know the FFAR or whatever the meta gun is, by the way. I just posted a loadout video with the MP5 and the FFAR and, and all those weapons, the, the 1911, which I do think um, using pistols is a good way to test yourself with how you're centering because it's gonna really punish you if you miss shots. Using the pistols can be a pretty good test. So go have some fun with the 1911 and some pubs matches in the bot lobbies and see how you do with your aim in that way as well. So I hope I gave you a few different ways to, to practice this and get better at aiming and improving your, your gun skill in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. If you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, of course. I'm gonna be posting a lot more tips videos and of course the gameplays on the gaming channel and a lot more to come on this main channel. But as always, guys, I'm your boy Salvation Lee and we will see you next time. I'm out.